Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be my Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. This look is definitely a look that I would personally wear myself out to dinner and I didn't want to do a look that was, you know, too dramatic, you know, winged eyeliner or glitter or bright color. I wanted it to be a really wearable look that you could recreate and wear yourself and I didn't want it to be too in your face. So I went in and dived into the new Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. It's a super pretty palette. It has a lot of different shades, but I stuck with more of the neutrals. And I do want to play around with the colors in this, in this palette for sure. But I wanted today just to be focused on more of a neutral, rose gold, soft, glam look for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I did a poll on my Instagram story, and a lot of you suggested I do a full face tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. But I'm going to speed through some of these products because I don't want this video to be extremely long. I still want to focus on just the eyes and the lips. But I am going to show you everything I use on my face, what I've been using currently, what I'm loving. We're going to have some fun with this, but it's not going to be a super long video, I promise. I'm going to kind of speed through the base part of this uh, tutorial, and then we're going to really focus in on the eyes and the lips. So you're going to get a little bit of everything in this video. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into starting with our face. So to start off, I'm going to prime my skin. And I'm going to moisturize and prime all in one. You guys have seen me use this a million times. It's the Murad Oil Control Mattifying Lotion. And I use this as my primer currently. I've yet to find a primer that works with my oily skin. I was using the NYX Angelville Primer, which is a really good one. But it doesn't last as long as I'd like it to. So... I'm still in search for one. Now I did go on Sephora.com and I uh, got the Dr. Brands uh, Pore Refining Primer, if you will. It's supposed to be really good for oily skin, so I will give you an update on that. When I get it in the mail, I'll probably do a review on it. So I'm really excited to try it. But for now, I'm gonna stick to my Murad Oil Control Mattifier. Okay, so hair is out of my way. I'm going to now go into foundation. Now, I've been kind of bouncing back between two foundations right now. Uh, the first one would be the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced, and then my current favorite is the Dior Forever foundation. I've been loving both of these uh, pretty equally. I would probably say I'm digging the Dior one a little bit more, but today it's just a little, it's a, it's a tad too dark for me right now, and it's winter time, I'm pale, so I'm going to go in with the Born This Way today. But this is going to be perfect for the summer months when it starts getting really hot and humid and I need something that's going to last a long time. Uh, but it still looks like skin. It doesn't look like there's like a mask on your skin. And this one doesn't either. These, these both have a very natural finish, which I'm all about. So I'm going to go into the Born This Way. And I'm going to put some few pumps on the back of my Real Technique, Real Technique sponge. There we go. And I'm going to start buffing that in. And making sure I get down on my neck. And both of these foundations oxidize, which is kind of frustrating, but we'll make it work. This one really oxidizes. So if you're thinking about getting this Dior foundation, I would definitely suggest getting a shade lighter than you normally would because it will get a little bit darker once it dries. All right, for concealer today, I'm going to go in to the Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild. This has been my current fave for a while, and it's a couple bucks. So, you know, I'm, I'm about that life. I'm about the, the cheap drugstore products that actually work. So I'm going to run down the sides of my nose to kind of slim my nose down a little bit. And we're just going to do some normal highlighting. And I'm going to be a little extra with this foundation routine since this is date night. So we're gonna glam it up and I'm going to really highlight and contour for this look. And then to contour my cheeks, I usually, on a day-to-day -day basis, I would just kind of lightly contour with some bronzer, but since I said we're gonna go a little bit extra with this foundation routine, I'm gonna take my NYX Wonder Stick 
And I'm gonna do a little cream contouring. So I'm gonna draw a little line right above my cheek, like the hollow of my cheek, I'm gonna go a little bit above that. Same on the other side. It's like my favorite cream contouring stick. And again, it's super cheap and I like that. And then we're just gonna blend that out also. I mean, it's just super easy to blend out. There's, it's not patchy, it's really pigmented. It is one of my favorites. And then I'm not gonna contour my nose with the cream. I'm gonna show you how I do that with the powder. So I think we're actually ready to set my face. So for that today, I'm gonna to use this NYX HD Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent powder. I've been bouncing around different powders currently. I go to this one, sometimes I go to the Too Faced Born This Way. Sometimes I use the Bye Bye Pores. So I'm kind of all over the map as far as powders. And I just, I haven't found one I like really, really love. All of them I'm trying are, they're okay. They work okay. So I did purchase the Better Skin Powder by, I want to say it's by Maybelline. Yeah, I think so. A friend of mine, she actually does makeup too. Her name's Ashley. She recommended that powder. So I'm really, really excited to get my hands on it because I heard it's really good. And again, it's a drugstore. Uh, product which I like too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with that NYX HD powder. I'm just gonna set my entire face. I'm not going to bake because I've yet to find a powder that I like baking with. I need to try the Laura Mercier powder for baking. It's just it's so highly used for baking so I need to just purchase it and try it. Comment below what your favorite baking powder is. Let a girl know. Okay, so our face is set. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer to warm up the skin even more. And you already know, I'm gonna be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm using a lot of drugstore products today, so y'all should be happy about that. Besides the foundation so far and the primer. Doing good, doing good, Felicia. Doing good with the drugstore products. And then to contour my nose a little bit, I'm gonna go in with that same bronzing powder. I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna dip into that powder, that bronzer, and I'm going to just kind of chisel out my nose with a powder. So basically you're just drawing a shadow to really define the nose. I don't, like I said, I don't normally do this step on a day-to-day -day basis, but since it's date night, it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna do it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of blend it out. It kind of takes the harsh lines away, but still revealing those sharp lines we did on the nose. And then for blush today, I'm gonna to go into this Blush Trio by Anastasia. And I'm gonna go into more of this mauve color right here. And I normally always put pink on my cheeks, but for this eye look we're doing today, I want to Tone it down a little bit. Oh, that color is really pretty. Super pigmented. And anything I'm using today, you can always dupe with a drugstore option. So keep that in mind. Um, like for instance, this blush right here, this is by NYX, it's the Ombre blush. You could totally use that for this look today and it's way cheaper than the Anastasia one. Okay, for our highlight, I'm gonna use the Model Zone Highlight. This is a Sculpt and Glow Highlighter in uh, Peach Pearl. I use this a lot. <sighs> I should probably get some a different highlighter, but when I'm stuck on one I really like, I just keep using it, so. I'm gonna go in on the tops of my cheeks so we can start glowing. Ooh, so pretty. 
I'm going to take my finger, go down the bridge of my nose, and on the tip, and that's it. I'm not going to put it on my chin or my forehead because I already get oily there, so I'm not, I'm not trying to highlight those areas any more than what they're already going to be in about two hours. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and moisturize my lips. I should have done this earlier. This is the Lano Moisturizer. It's a 101 ointment multi balm in the flavor strawberry. This was in the checkout when I was checking out at Ulta and it was highly recommended. So your girl picked it up because I have super dry lips. And we are using a liquid lipstick today. So I'm not about the crusty lip life. Okay, so base is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because I already did a dedicated video to that and nothing has changed. So if you want to see how I do my brows, you can look at my brow tutorial that I just did uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we're going to come back and jump into the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to set my base really quick with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Once that dries, then we're gonna go into priming our lids for our eyeshadow. Okay, to prime our lids, we're gonna use the Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. And we're gonna put that over our entire lid. Okay, so I bought a new eyeshadow palette today. I was definitely in need of a new palette because I haven't bought one in a while. So that was like the first reason. The second reason was I went into Ulta and I really were, I was looking to be inspired for this Valentine's Day look. And I saw this big chocolate bar staring at me. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And it definitely spoke to me. There is a lot of fun colors in here. I mean, look at that. Also, I have some new dramatic lashes that I'm going to throw on, so I'm not going to be doing any winged eyeliner with this look today. Now, if you're someone who likes to wear a lot of eyeliner or you're really digging winged eyeliner, feel free to put that with this look. But for me, when I was trying on these lashes, they were just very dramatic and just super dark that I felt like when I did a winged eyeliner with it, I didn't really like the way it looked. So... I'm not doing any eyeliner with this look, so if you're someone that doesn't like eyeliner, this is definitely a look for you, but feel free to add eyeliner with this if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into Rolling in Dough, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to cover my entire lid with that. There is some kick up, as you can see when I dip into that. It's not a big deal, but I just wanted to mention that there is some, some dusty kick up with this palette. So I'm just setting all of that primer that we put down so it's easier to blend on. So I'm going to start by going into the So Bougie shade, which is this really pretty neutral tan color. And I'm going to start building that into the crease. This palette does smell like chocolate. Uh, it states that it's made with real cocoa powder and also real gold, which is very interesting to me. Okay, next we're gonna take this little pencil brush here by Real Techniques, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the shade Cocoa Truffle, which is this darker brown chocolate shade right here. And I'm going to take this pencil brush and we're just going to really define the crease. Since we are doing a cut crease today, I want to make sure that the crease is really defined. And I'm going a little above my natural crease because I do have hooded eyes. So if I was to go in my actual crease, my hood would just literally cover up the color that we're doing. So I'm going a slightly above my natural crease. 
Then I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and kind of just go back and forth over it just to blend out any harsh lines. Do that to the other side. Okay, then to cut my crease, I'm going to go in with this pencil brush and the Fit Me Concealer. And I'm going to saturate both sides of the brush with the concealer. And you really want to take your time with this. You want to start from the inner corner and just do light strokes around. There's no reason to go all the way around super quickly. You want to take your time, make sure it's really precise. So I'm going to start from the inner corner of the, of the lid. And I'm just going to literally work it around the crease of my eye. And really chisel out that crease. So we're literally running it right along where we put that darker brown. So we're really going to brighten up the lid space for our lid color. Okay, so our crease is cut. I mean, it's not a really defined cut because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. So I'm going to go into Classy and Sassy in the palette. It's this really pretty rose gold shade. And I'm going to show you that how cutting the crease, it didn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to show you how pretty it looks when I line it up to that brown color. So I'm going to start on the lid and just really work in that color. And we're going to literally put it right up against that darker brown shade. But what the concealer did too, by laying that down first, is going to allow this rose gold shade to be super bright and stand out. I'm going to do the same thing to the other lid, pressing down in the center and working this pink shade right up to the crease. So I am going to tight line with the Tarte Close Up Lash Liner. And I'm literally going to go underneath and just really accentuate the lashes and go right on that lash line underneath where the waterline is and really just define the lashes. So when we go to put our falsies on, everything's going to be nice and blended and there will be no spaces. We don't want that. I'm going to quickly curl my natural lashes. This is by Tarte. I love it. I'm going to pop on a little layer of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Fiber or Carbon Black Mascara. I don't know why I said fiber. Now you could totally stop there with the mascara and this is a very, you know, girly and flirty, fresh look. But I am going to go a little bit further, like I said, and do the lashes, but feel free to skip the lashes if you're not a lash kind of gal. Okay, my lashes I put on are by Tarte, and they're in the style Goddess. I will link all of that stuff down below. And then to finish off this eye look, I'm going to go back into the Chocolate Gold palette, and I'm going to go into the Cocoa Truffle color, and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. We're going to really smoke that out. And then I'm going to run that Tarte close-up eyeliner in my lower waterline. Then I'm going to take a waterproof mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And the reason why I want to do waterproof on my lower lash line is because 
my eyes are more deep set so I tend to always get bleeding under my eyes from my, my mascara and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to do waterproof so we get no smudging or black creasing under our eyes. Voila, and eyes are done. So we're going to move on to our lips. All right, we are almost finished guys. Now we're gonna go on to our lips and I already moisturized my lips. I'm gonna go in first with the Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Innocence. And we're gonna lay that down first. It's a really pretty peach nude shade. So my camera stopped recording when I put on the second layer of this lipstick look. This is the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Pillow Talk. So I went ahead and put that on top of the Milani lipstick. These two together are a match made in heaven. I love that they're both pretty much the same color, but I like the finish of the matte. And I like that this matte formula works so much better on top of this Milani lipstick. I tried this by itself and I hated it. But for some reason, these two together, it works. Okay, guys, that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this soft rose gold glam makeup look. Let me know in the comments if this is a look that you would actually wear to, for Valentine's Day. I would love to know if this is something you would recreate. And let me know in the comments also uh, a new video idea, something new you want to see. If there's something particular that you want to see me do in a video, Comment down below, you know the drill, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.